So if you had a piercing and you had to take it out and you want to get it re-pierced, how long do you need to wait? To start off, if your piercing completely rejected, meaning your body pushed it all the way out of your body and you're left with a scar similar to this, chances are you can't get it re-pierced. That scar tissue is not as strong as your normal skin and chances are you're gonna get the same results. You will need to pierce it at a completely different angle or further over. Now, if you took your piercing out because it was pierced crooked, it migrated or it got ripped or torn, you need to let your piercing completely close up before you get it re-pierced. Now, one thing you need to do before you get re-pierced is to break down that scar tissue. One way you can do this is through massage. If you massage that scar tissue every single day, you will get rid of any discolored tissue and you will get rid of any excessive bumps. Now, if you pierce it with discolored tissue or bumps next to your piercing, it's gonna basically lock that discolored tissue into place and it won't go away. So make your skin look as normal as possible before you re-pierce it. Now, I am not sponsored by Mederma, but I love Mederma Extreme Scar Gel Remover. I have used this in the past and it will help get rid of that scar tissue quicker than normal. Now, if you have a well-established piercing, fully healed, and it's crooked, if you wanted that straightened out, that hole needs to completely close before we re-pierce you. The reason why is if I'm piercing right next to that hole, it's gonna fall and migrate to the old hole, leaving it as crooked as it originally started. So it needs to completely close. Sometimes you take the piercing out and they're gonna close really quick. Other times they don't close. Now a little pro tip for you. If it will not close and massaging is not working, sometimes a little bit of trauma can help quite a bit. Meaning if you had a taper one size larger and you ran that through there, it might irritate it enough to where it will close. It's kind of rough, but that's the only other option other than going to a doctor. Now, to wind this all up, generally I tell people a minimum of a month before you get it re-pierced. Sometimes it's longer. Make sure that tissue looks good, stick to the massage regimen, and everything should work out well for you. Now, if you have any experience with piercing through old scar tissue or old piercings, let us know in the comments. Now, if you enjoyed my video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. See you all in the next video.